Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. This was this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hello guys. Welcome back again to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely come first. <clears throat> and I am here live with you again here on the show. Let me just briefly give you a few words about last night. <clears throat> last night was a night I would wish to never remember. Not that it was uh, uneventful because it was very eventful. I mean, the gentleman... Now, it, there's nothing wrong with this idea. But this is one. This is the reason why I got so late to doing the show today. The gentleman I was with yesterday, or was supposed to be with, uh, working and cleaning up the uh, the produce place, uh, for some reason didn't show up yesterday. Not sure if he just you know called in or whatnot. I don't know, but he didn't make it to work yesterday. So I did everything by myself, which is fine. I didn't mind doing it. But then everything else started going down south downhill from there that's when you know because we got different coolers we got a b c d e f g h and i cooler and each cooler has its own little functions like h is for like broccolis and it's for greens and things like that so it's those types of you know cauliflower and stuff but c still has broccoli and so greens in there but they're bagged so the broccoli and the cauliflower are in bags instead of in bushels. See what I'm saying? So each cooler has a little, there's the potato and onion room. Then there's the potato and banana room. So there's two different types of potato rooms. Then there's the tomato room. That's one single separate thing itself. But then in the banana and potato room, there are some p tomatoes in there. So you see what I'm getting at? So each room has its own little function, but... When I went down to C to finish cleaning up last night for my job, somebody came and told me that H was a mess and that I had, had uh, I have all the uh, the coolers all messed up, which wasn't true because I ended up cleaning them all up. And then what happened was is we got so busy last night being that it was Sunday. Since we were so busy that when I went to go do one thing, and downstack one thing, that one thing became a mess again. Because it's just, Sundays are always busy for us. So that being said, I stayed, I, I was almost there till 9 o'clock at work. Not only that, I didn't, I forgot to bring the pencil and my pad of paper to write the message out. So I didn't have a chance to do that last night. Or else I would have. And then I had to write it out today after getting some sleep. Because I need some sleep so I can do the show, number one. Number two, so I can get some rest for work. Not tonight, but tomorrow night. So, with all that being said, with all that being said, I am still here. I still love you guys. In Christ Jesus, of course. And I still love doing what I do every single Monday. Which is the show. This is solely one of the greatest things that I enjoy doing every, each and every week. I wish I could do this 24-7. Well, not 24-7, but you get my point. I wish I could do this every day and be like a regular radio station. Where where you have several people that do words that want to get a word out there if we can put on the show. Or where you know we play music for like two hours. And this is our next block of music here. And we play a block of music and then we go back to someone else doing a message with a CD or whatnot. So I wish I could do things like that all day until I go to bed. But I can't because, number one, I work. Number two, it'd be hard to do that all day and not make any money. That's why I set up a Twitch account. I'm still working on my Twitch account and stuff like that so I can get that situated. Because then you can go and donate right straight at Twitch. So you can donate to the ministry as well if you'd like to. Also, there'll be a link there. You can also go and purchase some of uh, TGIF's merch from Swag Attire. And not a lot of people know what that means, but swag, well, the, the term swag is a slang term for 
you know, nice looking clothing or uh, clothing that is looks expensive, swag. But the acronym S dot W dot A dot and sign dot G dot stands for saved with anointing and sign grace. Saved with anointing and grace. Swag attire. So you can go and purchase swag attire. You'll be able to purchase swag attire there too from the actual uh, Twitch as well. So with that being said, feel free to go to swag attire and check us out. I will be... Just email me at communitycloud222 at gmail.com and I'll give you the link to it. If you want the link, look me up on Facebook as well. Message me on Facebook saying I want the link to your store. And however else you want to get, call me at one three zero two four four eight eight four four three. Again, it's one three zero two four four eight tgif So you got all these different avenues. If you want, if you want to uh, either give to the ministry or if you want to buy some merch from Swag Attire. So let me know what's going on with what you got going on in your lives, and we'll continue on with what we do every Monday. And I love doing it. It's something I look forward to. Don't get me wrong. There are times after work where I'd be dead tired, but I still look forward to giving you guys what you like, which is the word. And not just any word, but the word of God each and every week, Monday, and then to praise and worship every single Saturday. So let's get into a few brief announcements. By the way, I am waiting on Chris to call me. I did call him, so he might be a little bit on the busy side today. But he did not answer the phone, and I know you guys like Chris on the show. So let me know what's going on with that, and let's get into a few brief announcements. Number one, go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com. Spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at gmail.com. What can you do there? Well, for one, you can just chat it up with me if you really want to. Or, you can send me all your prayer requests. Even, if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely ultimately come first let me show you what a shout out is this is a shout out to my buddy at work mr t-rex over there hello t-rex hope you're having a great day today and when you do finally listen to this and i give you my facebook information hope you're having a great day then too so i'll see you tuesday at work so there you go that was a shout out to my buddy at work mr t-rex we call him T-Rex. I don't even know what his actual real name is. But we call him T-Rex. Because he's pretty tall. He, that guy's pretty tall. He's taller than this guy here on the show. And I'm pretty tall. I'm about 5'11". He's more than that. He's got to be at least 6 foot. Maybe 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, I'm guessing. So with that being said. You, also what you can do is you can call me at one. 302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF. Where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately, guess what comes first? You no longer have to guess that because it, Jesus does always and ultimately, and definitely does come first no matter what. No more guessing at that one. So, with that being said, also keep in mind we'll be doing again this Saturday, Worship Saturdays. Now, Worship Saturdays is not just another Saturday. It is. It's not just another podcast episode, which it is. It's not just another episode of TGIF, which it is another episode of TGIF. And it's not just today that we relax and do nothing but listen to music and worship God. Which that technically is what it is the day we do nothing and relax and worship God. But Worship Saturdays is a phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 Phenomenon. Worship Saturdays is a phenomenon 
And there's going to be some big things happening with Worship Saturday. So also keep in mind for the rumble, where we'll be shaking the heavens, rattling the earth, and rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. See, back in the day, when boxers used to fight, they were what? Rumbling. So the Bible says we don't rumble or fight against flesh and blood, but of principalities of darkness and evil. Meaning that we don't fight or rumble against you know, flesh and blood people, but of the spiritual wickedness in high places. So the evil spirits is what we f what we rumble against. And so we're going to take one day out of the week, preferably at midnight, and do nothing but pray, 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 fight, 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 rumble, rumble, rumble. Now, you're going to look at me like, why midnight? Because darkness loves darkness. Am I not right? Darkness loves darkness. So, in order for darkness to be dispelled, you do what? You put some light into it, right? So when you have a dark room, you lighten up the dark room, some of the darkness is dispelled to another room. You turn on more light, more darkness is dispelled. Finally, all the lights are turned on, all the darkness in that room is now dispelled. So what we're going to do is we're going to pray at midnight when darkness comes out, and we're going to display the light of Christ. And we're going to dispel the darkness in the world. We're going to pray for the the United States. We're going to be praying for our country. For other countries. For presidents. President. Vice president. We're going to pray for you, the listener. If you got a prayer request, let me know. Again, email me at communitycloud222 at gmail.com. Spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D 222 at gmail.com. Or call me at 1 302 448 Again, it's 1 302 448 TGIF. So let me know what your prayer request is. Contact me on Facebook, which is A N D R E W K U S L I C K. Find me on Facebook and let me know through there. Or Twitter, it's at, at sign A K U S L I C K. At sign A Kuslik. So. You can also find me on Instagram at TGI Forever. I do believe it is. Let me make sure I got that right. It should be TGI Forever. And let me know on Instagram too if you if you so choose to find me on there what your prayer request is as well. And my handle on Instagram is T dot G dot I dot F O R E V E R T G I forever. Make sure you put the dots in between. So it's T G I forever. I thought so. So look me up on Instagram at T G I forever and let me know what your prayer request is too if you so choose to connect with me through that way. Again, email, phone, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram T G I forever. Make sure it's dot to do T G I F. So T dot G dot I dot F O R E V E R. T G I forever. So let me know what the, your prayer request is, and we'll pray for you, the listeners. Well, we'll pray for the ministry. We'll pray for me. We'll pray for my family, your family, and my wife's family, and anything else that we can think of. So if you got a request that you want prayed for, that's not specific just for you, we'll do it as well. Because you can stand in the gap for somebody else or something else. For instance, if you wanted to pray for your mom, us to pray for your mom, you can stand in the gap for her. Or if you wanted to pray for the coronavirus, you can stand in the gap for that and you can pray for that. We can touch and believe you, believe with you for whatever prayer request you have. So with that being said, here's our very last announcement. Download the app. That's it. It's very simple. It's very easy. And if everyone would download the app, I will not, no longer have to say go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at gmail.com. See how much breath it takes me to do it? But I will no longer have to do that if you guys would download the app. Not only, not only will you be able to uh, not be able to have to go to community.